Welcome back to Medium Rare Poetry. I am Phil A. Mignon, your host and poet. Today I will be presenting yet another poem about Donald Trump. I have compassion for the man. I don't agree with his policies whatsoever. And who would want to see the democracy of America completely destroyed if this man ever held office again, because that's what he has in mind. But really, he's led this privileged life, he's got away with everything until of late, where it's all trickling back to haunt him, all his misdeeds, all his miswords, all his just nastiness. And one should have a loving heart and send Donald lots of healing energy so that maybe before his life expires he can make amends and then have a smooth transition to the next life. So today I have prepared a pre-admission interview poem which is a pre-admission to the afterlife. So I hope you enjoy pre-admission interview. Pre-admission interview by Philae Mignon. Well, thank you, Mr. Donald Trump, for seeing me today. This may be a disturbing interview. You'll find that it's enlightening in an awkward kind of way. The benefits will only be for you. Your life is nearly over. Oh, of that you weren't aware? That piece of news may come as quite a shock. Your diet's been neglected while you focused on your hair. Your body's on the verge of toxic shock. I have some information that all mortals need to know. Some facts that are concealed by earthly fun. You see, when you cross over to the universe's glow, your secrets will be outed in the sun. Before you get to heaven, you must face your life's review. Experience the choices that you made. Your life was full of options and you had the right to choose, so your karmic debt could be completely paid. Consider all the women that you used and tossed aside. Gallantry was never your best suit. There's female anger brewing, and they'll take you for a ride. Apologies with honour is astute. Of course, there are the tradesmen that you forced against the wall, reneging on the payment of their fees. They're up for compensation with a legal wrecking ball. You'll find your precious assets in deep freeze. Your narcissism blossomed when elected as the chief. Your magic mirror warped your haughty view. You asked, who is the fairest? And the answer was quite brief. I am, but this does not reflect on you. Your list of grave indictments would make others have a stroke. The cost to you is so far half a bill. Your penalties will surely see your bank account go broke. It wasn't worth the way your pockets filled. So in your time remaining, it is best to clear your slate, to show the world humility is you. Renounce your misbehaviours, your intolerance and hate. Become the winning man that would hold true. He didn't pay attention to the lifeline that was thrown. He couldn't recognise the good advice. He couldn't grasp such modesty with ego overblown. His course was set to roll the loaded dice. The consequential avalanche consumed his heartless soul. The justice system sucked his fortune dry. His standing was graffitied as his secrets were exposed. His circuitry was permanently fried. There is a special place reserved for psychopaths, you know. It's not your human heaven or your hell. A giant-sized arena where all despots are on show. 
where all their victim sufferings do dwell. So Donald, Vlad and Kim Jong were the stars of this big show. They all had left the earth the same fine day. Their life reviews revealed that their high life had been low. They could have opted for a better way. It showed that their misdeeds were not entirely their own. The rest of us enabled their demise. As parents, friends and lovers, we can change how seeds are sown and prune the wayward soul back down to size. This pre-admission interview is pertinent to all. The lessons here, completely universal. On earth, we have the choice to heed our inner sacred call. Ignoring will just lead to soul reversal. So thank you to the despots who have set the bad example all suffering a self-inflicted sore. The gift of love is offered as a more desired sample. This option is too risky to ignore. Ah oh well, the road to failure is paved with good intentions. And I'll continue to send Donald healing energy because it may just work one day. Maybe not this life, maybe the next one. Hope you like the poem. Please like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye for now.